This is OS Maps Online, which is what we use to plot the routes. Um, it's a good mapping system as far as I'm concerned. It's never let us down yet. This is the 3D fly through of the route we're going to do today. So it gives us an indication of where we're walking and uh, the, the terrain we might be walking on. So we're leaving Alta Water and we're walking through Birchill Wood and then we walk up a farm track and a minor road before we start climbing up to Lingmore Fell and then we start getting great views from up here across the surrounding fells and then we uh, get up to summit of Lingmore Fell, Brown Howe you get a great view of Lingmore Tarn at this point and uh, again the surrounding hills mountains. We start heading down towards Side Pike and we give Side Pike a miss this time. We have done it before and then we uh, have a nice valley walk uh, passing Blee Tarn and then uh, a nice walk through the valley heading towards Little Langdale Tarn which is a lovely little tarn there. And it's uh, quite a nice walk then through the valley, not too strenuous nice steady walk slightly uphill as you get to this point but nothing major and then we just follow the route all the way back towards Elta water and it's about four and a half four and a half five mile and it's uh, it's lovely so yeah that's our walk today it's monday 27th of january we're just leaving Elta water and today's walk will take us to Lingmore Fell. We're cutting it short because well because we need to get back to back home so we can you can make it like a 10 mile walk through the Langdale Valley but we're just uh, cutting it short to about four and a half five mile today. So so yeah weather's supposed to be good. It's a lot better than it was yesterday anyway. So sun's shining Hopefully we'll have good views when we get to the top. So we're just walking along the track. There's a lot of jets today. But you can't see over there. It must be a Monday training day. The jets are, are going up the valley, which is uh, pretty exciting. Well, we are into a little bit of winter conditions because on the hilltop there's snow, frost and ice. I'm not sure if there's anywhere we're going but over on that fell there, there's a little bit. Look at this little little fella here, look. Hey matey. <laughs> Sorry, mate, we ain't got any food. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. These fells here, which you probably can't see very well, covered in snow. So we're just following this farm track now. We've just come up a bit of a big incline on a farm track. Now we're just getting to the point where we start going up, up to Lingmore Fell, which is there. That's that's not it. That's part of it, but we need to go up again once we get to the top of there. Headed up there. Okay, we're about halfway up now at the path to Lingmore, which is behind us. Over there, beyond that ridge, we gotta go up, then up again. But you probably can't see it very well, but great views of back end of Windermere there. A lot of the higher fells are covered in snow over the old valley range over there. Okay, we're nearly at the top, we are 
sweaty look. It's about more than two. We're about two or three hundred feet from the top of Lingmore Fell. It's a bit breezy up here now. Just having a bit of lovely views of the fells with the snow on top. We've got Elta water down the bottom here. And then the back end of a windham here. Fabulous, got the Fairfield Horseshoe Range over here, the Fairfield Range. Beautiful with the snow on top of the mountains. There we've got our first view of Lingmore Fell. There we just come up over, over the ridge and that's where we're headed. That's the top of Lingmore Fell. So we've got a bit of a down and then back up. We'll have a nice view of the Langdale Valley, which is over there. So, so far, so good. Weather's been fine. A bit chilly up here, zero to minus two. It's, uh, the wind chill is probably a bit lower. So, but it's dry and it's fine, and it's good views. So, happy days. Okay, we've done it. We have reached the top of Lingmore Fell. It's number three for 2020. And there it is. That's the top. So we're going to have a look at the top now, but it's going to be very windy, so you probably won't hear me talking. Here she comes, come on Gainer, you're nearly down. Hey, look here, the sun's coming out. Great view of the pipes there. Right Gainer? Yeah. It's a bit warmer down here. Temperature seems about 10 degrees higher than what it was on the top of Lingmore Fell. This big rock you can see behind me is Side Pike. We're going to give Side Pike a swerve today. Uh, we haven't been round it before, but we're going to cut it short and uh, just go down the hill here back to the road. Great views up here still. Beautiful.
Okay, so we have just completed Lingmore Fell and we're just walking back into Elterwater, back to the car. We've encountered wind, hail and freezing temperatures. But that was just 10% of the story. Most of the time it was uh, a bit breezy and cloudy. We'll be back in Elta Water now and it's uh, it's beautiful. It's been nice and calm for the last couple of miles walking back. So all's good. And that is a welcome sight just there, look. The Brit. So that was it. Job done. Wainwright number three completed.